Tables are a great way of organising your data in columns and rows. Now you can use indenting and you can use tabs and you can use the spacebar um, and I'll show you tabs in another video but today we're just going to have a look at the basics of tables. Now I've got a blank Word document open here and to get the basics of my table I'm going to go to the insert tab on my ribbon and you will see directly below that you have the table options. Click on it once and you'll see the various ways that you can insert a table. I think the easiest way actually is just the first way, which is deciding how many columns and rows you think you want. You can add extra and delete them off later, but hover with your mouse and decide how many columns you want and how many uh, rows you want. Click on it and there you have your table. There's a couple of things that tells you that you are using a table. First of all, the icon here that I'm just circling, that tells you that this, this, these lines are in a table. And also you'll notice in your ribbon, we now have table design and table layout, two options that allows you to do various things with your table. If you want to delete your table, you've done something, you want it completely off your document, a couple of ways to do it, um, you can click on your table, we're in the layout um, tab, and just click delete and you'll notice, again with that drop down, there's options of the cell only, columns rows, or in this case, delete the table. So insert, table, decide what you want, you have the basics, table design, table layout, it's worth your while just spending a little while looking at all the options because there's so many things you can do to improve the look of your table. So let's have a look at this now. Here's an example where a rota has been created and it's just in a very basic format with the basic borders but we want to enhance the look. So I'm just going to click on the, the table icon there and I'm going to go to table design and you'll see that we, at the moment, we're, we're in this section here, which is just the very basics. In the table styles option, if you hover along, you'll see what the tables will look like if you change it. And if we use the drop down option here, if you're wanting to add some colours, for example, um, you can go and, and do it here. You'll notice at the bottom of that, that you can actually um, clear your table style and it'll take you back to the beginning. So going into your design and changing the style of your table. Now, in example number two, again, I'm just going to quickly add, I just want some basic borders. What you'll see actually at the moment is this is showing grid lines. If I was to print this table off and these little grey dots, you wouldn't see that, but it is allowing you to see where your columns and rows are and allows you to move around your table quite easily. What I want to put around is actual borders. So again, I'm going to click on my table. I'm in table design. I've got my borders options here and you'll see with borders there's, there's colour options, all sorts of things you can do. But clicking on the border there and you'll see grid line is what I was telling you about. But you have the options of where you want to add your border. So let's say in this example all borders will put um, a line through everything. You can see also um, by clicking on the dialog box you then have the options for example if you want to change the colour of your um, your borders, apply it to the table, and I can actually just click on click on this way and add colour. There's lots of things that you can do with the borders and shading. But in this example here, what I want to do is I want to add a new row under Teresa. So she's the last person on the rota. Quickest way to do it is I can click in the last cell on Sunday for Teresa and all I need to do actually is click the tab key on my keyboard once and it will give me an entire new row. If I tab along it'll take me through each cell we'll just call it here all right and then we get to the, the last one again and it will add another row but I'll just take these off just for the moment. All right so if you want to um, delete a row. So in this case we're going to take Martin completely out of the rota. There's a couple of ways we can do it. Click on the row that we want to remove, right click, delete cells, click on that and it gives us the option, is it the row, what do we want to do and I want to do the entire row in this example and it takes him off. 
You could also go up to layout and again you have the options up here in the ribbon for deleting cells, columns, rows and the entire table. And actually, whilst I mentioned before about tabbing to get an extra an extra row at the bottom of your table, if you're looking to get a, a row somewhere in your table, so in this case, let's say above Anna, click on that row and I can see I want to insert above row that way. And indeed, if it's columns, same idea, you've got the options here to insert left or insert right. You'll also find if you right click, you can also um, insert additional rows and columns. Now moving on, here we have a table, it's quite small and I want to make some changes. I've got the basic table in. I want to change the font. Well, the quickest thing, the quickest way to do it, click on the table. I'll go back to my home tab and I will change that to 12. If I want the width of each column to be wider, I could manually, of course, just drag it and, and bring it back again. But if I want all the columns to be um, standardized, exactly the same size, I'm going to click on my table up to my layout and you'll see under cell size, there's a height and the width. So if I want the, um, the width of each column to be three, I'm going to put it in here and I want the height to be 1.5 and you'll see how that table changes. Now you've also got the option with your text, you'll see right now we're in the top sort of left hand corner of each cell, the cell's gone much bigger. If you're looking to centre um, the text, what we can do is click again on the table, highlight everything and you'll notice we have alignment here and we have nine boxes here. So if I wanted, for example, to center vertically and horizontally, I'll click the middle button and you'll see what happens to the text. And then if you just play around with these buttons, you'll see what each one looks like. So another way to improve the look of your table, you'll also see here, you've got text direction. If I click on that, you can make some changes that way. Now, if we think about the next one, and what I want to do just very quickly, just insert a page break, so we're down to the next row. Inserting a row um, above, so we know how to do that. I'm going to click on the first row, and I'm going to go to Layout, and I'm going to insert a row above. Now, it's taken exactly the same format, so with all the various columns to match what we have below. But let's say I want the top cell sorry, the top row to be one continuous cell and I want that to show rota, reception rota. What I can do is highlight just that top row and again you'll notice we've got um, in our table um, layout we have the option here to merge the cells. So I'm just doing this to the top row. Click on it once and now we can see we have one continuous cell and I could just type in, let's say, reception rota. I could, let's say I want to center this and I want to make the font much bigger to make it much st stand out. And that is how you can insert an additional row and you can merge the cell. You can also separate a table. So in this case here, we have a, a two week rota and actually I want week two to be in a separate um, a separate table. I'm going to just click in the row just before the, the W for week two and I'm going to go up to layout and you'll see that I have the option here to split the table into two separate tables. Click on it there and now we've got two different tables that you can do different things to. Now, maybe you have a table, in this case we just have got, you know, it's essentially just one, one column, lots of rows, and we need to maybe create a form, and we're trying to break it down into different things. We want to split some of our rows and, and columns. So imagining that in the first row I want to be showing, you know, title, first name, last name, so I need actually six columns for that. In my first row here, clicking on it and I am going to go to, in this case, split cells. In this row, I actually have, I mean, I've got one row and I want six different columns just in the top row. 
so that I can say, well, I want the first box can be the title. Now, I notice here that it's just showing me it's coming up in um, bold and underline. Not sure why that's happened. So what I'm going to do is highlight the whole table, just to double check, go to home. Uh, I can see for some reason it's sitting with bold and underline. I'll just un undo that and get it back to normal. So if, for example, I'm going to put here a title and I want a space for the title and then the first name and then the last name. Whilst I'm here, I might think, well, do you know the title that can I can bring that um, narrow that column a wee bit, um, so that there's enough room for, let's say, you know, can I put Mrs. That would work. That's fine. Um, I can have. I can narrow this column so the first names to give the person more room and same with the last name here. So you can you can play about with these cells to make it fit. So imagine here we're looking for um we want address, the address here. So I'll just think I'll split that into two again, layout um split cells and I'll have that one just as two and let's just say that I want that to be the address and I will just bring that back here and that allows space for the address. Um, in fact, what I might do here is is I might do it for uh, both of them there. Let's do the split the cell and um, try it that way. And then I'm just going to manually drag the line back. So now we're, 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 we're having space here. What we could do, of course, to make it look slightly better is we could highlight these cells. Why don't we merge them? So we have the address and then the lines for, for people to put the address in. We could, um, other ways we could do it, for example, let's say we're going to split the cell here again. Uh, maybe we want this to be, you know, a postcode and so on. So once you have your basic table, what you can start doing is building up how you want your form and your data to look um, by just using going into your layout and your, your table design. Well, in this case, it's layout and merging and splitting and text and direction and column width and size to really build up um, the, the, the table the way that you want. Incidentally, what you can also do, which I should have shown you, is you might want to shade some of your cells. So, for example, maybe here for title, you want to say, I'll go into layout, shading, I'll maybe make that kind of a darker, a grey, so that it kind of helps people if they're to fill a form in to kind of guide them as to what they are to fill in and what they're not. And that leaves the, the blank spaces there. A couple more things just to finish off. Maybe you have a table and you want to sort it alphabetically. Very easy to do. Just click on the table and this time we're going to go to layout. Click on the whole table actually. Go into layout and then you'll see sort. Click on sort and I do have a header row that has been highlighted here because I have got the word department. Sort by department. Text yes. Ascending yes. Press OK and there it's now gone alphabetically by department. If you need to use the auto sum, of course Excel spreadsheets would be easier, but if you have got it in a table and you have got to add add some, some numbers up, you can actually do that. I've created an extra row down here and I have um, I want to add up the total wage costs. Again, I'm still in layout of my table and I'm going to go to formula click on formula just the once and you'll see this comes up automatically equal sum above it's gone in there and it's just saying do you want to add everything it can find um, above your cell if you're happy with that you just press ok and that's it done and I could I suppose just take out these decimal places um, at the end it's not letting me do that yes it is there you go oops I'll just take that last little one out by pressing delete. So that is how you use the auto sum in table. So quite a lot we've gone through today um, in your table, table design, table layout. There's so much you can do.